masters of war. We used to be ordinary people with ordinary lives. The big guns. Trained in secret. Only to be activated if the worst happened. Seven months ago, that day came. Around the country, we fought to hold things together. While the virus tore us apart. We thought we had turned the tide. Until the distress call came from Washington. You had never done nothing. Our capital is falling. Our leaders are dead or missing. Dark forces are moving to take control of our nation. And we are the only hope to stop it. We are the last line of defense. We are the people. Making a stand to unite DC. We are the division. And history will remember us. Warlords of New York is set in Lower Manhattan, a brand new area in the world of the Division franchise, which has been faithfully reproduced at a one-to-one -one scale. In Warlords of New York, you can push your agent further than ever before thanks to an increased level cap from level 30 to level 40. But hitting level 40 is not the end. Warlords of New York is introducing a new infinite progression system, allowing you to continue to improve your agent's stats and refine your playstyle even after reaching level 40. For players who have already reached level 30 in the Division 2, you can jump directly into the brand new campaign of Warlords of New York. If you are new to the Division 2, you can choose to start at level 1 in Washington, D.C. or start at level 30 in New York City. Players choosing to jump first into Warlords of New York will be able to go back to D.C. once they have completed the new campaign. Warlords of New York is expanding the amounts of equipment available for agents. Our new arsenal spreads across new gear brands, new gear sets, new weapons, and new exotic items. Warlords of New York is also introducing major changes in the gear system for the Division 2. All gear and weapon stats are being streamlined. We're bringing in major improvements to our UI, ensuring that attributes and advantages are easy and quick to understand. Every single loot drop will be exciting. We're ensuring that you will always loot something that has a stat or bonus to complement your gear set and playstyle. And it's emphasized by the introduction of talent storage that allows you to apply bonuses that you have looted at least once to your favorite gear piece. All of these improvements will ensure that agents' builds can be as diverse as the playstyle you really want to dig into. The rogue agents you're hunting all have a unique specialized skill. When you eliminate one of them, you will add their unique skill to your arsenal. Shock traps. These are the best tools for crowd control, since they'll incapacitate enemies and make them easier to target. They interconnect so you can create virtual tripwires. Just the thing for a surprise ambush or to give an agent enough time to find new cover when an unexpected wave of enemies rushes in. Echo-based hologram decoys. Use these to attract enemy fire so you can find new cover or draw the enemy to a specific position, giving you an unprecedented tactical advantage. Explosive Sticky Bombs, our new take on the fan favorite from The Division 1. They're long-range projectiles that need to be activated by the agent with a quick tap of the trigger. They can latch onto environmental elements and enemies alike. And Fire Spreading Sticky Bombs, burning with an intense flame once set, continuously dealing damage to anyone in its range of effect. Playing with skills has never been easier in The Division. Thanks to the new tier system, 
you will directly see and understand how your gear impacts the power of your skills. The dark zones from Washington DC are being revamped. We are returning to a simpler rogue mechanic and rewarding players who help each other in the dark zones. Oh, and one last thing. It seems you're not the only one on the hunt in Lower Manhattan. Stay on guard at all times. Good luck out there, agents. Intelligent system analytic computer is activated. The hunt is on. All ISAC systems are confirmed online. Agent, listen up. You and your squad are urgently needed in New York City. A biological attack hit Lower Manhattan. We need your help to hunt down the one responsible. Aaron Keener. Call sign Vanguard. He's the one behind the deadly attack on Division Headquarters that killed dozens of top Division agents and countless innocent civilians. And we suspect He's just getting started. Keep in mind, Keener knows this city inside and out. And he's as cunning and as lethal as they come. Originally, Keener was one of us. But eight months ago, the division failed him by leaving him to die in the dark zone. That was the day he lost faith and went rogue. He disappeared and gathered all the tools he needed to engineer his own biological weapons. He doesn't just want revenge. He seeks chaos. He believes it is the only way for humanity to thrive. Keener isn't the only one with an axe to grind against the Division. There are others. Keener has recruited four rogue agents who not only share his extremist vision, they have the skills to execute it. They've worked their way up within factions ruling over Lower Manhattan. If we want to get to Keener, we'll need to go through them first. First up, Vivian Conley. Former counterterrorism intelligence agent and chemical engineer. Conley's last known location was the Two Bridges sector. A hurricane ravaged the coast a few months ago, so it's a far cry from the thriving urban sector it once was. Keener's second rogue agent is Javier Kajika, a master of stealth and infiltration. He was a black ops hitman for the US government. With the government collapse, his loyalty goes to whoever will feed his need for blood. Our latest intel locates Kajika somewhere in the Battery Park area, the part of the city that's taken over by swamp. The terrain is rough and scattered with giant sinkholes that used to be subway tunnels. Odds are he knows you're coming for him and plans to use the dicey terrain to get the drop on you. Both Conley and Kajika work with the cleaners, a former New York City sanitation unit that believes only fire can stop the virus. Conley was recruited by the cleaners when she went rogue, and thanks to her technical expertise, they're deadlier than ever. We've been exchanging blows with them for a while, but their methods are ruthless, and their cleansing fire takes no prisoners. James Dragov, former police officer, a heavy weapons and defense specialist. His relentless fight for justice made him a legend on the force. Yet, his allegiance has changed. Dragov took hold of the financial district and has been using it as the center of his black market operation. Our intel suggests he's still there. Be careful, major flooding has transformed the entire district into a mudslide. Last but not least, Theo Parnell, a drone engineer and skilled hacker. He's managed to stay off the grid. So all we can say for sure is he's a true master of decoys and deception. Keener's arranged for the Rikers to protect him at an unknown location in the Civic Center area. 
Dragov and Parnell have both been linked to the Rikers, ex-cons from Rikers Island Prison. Regardless of who their enemies were in the past, they've agreed to band together. Their motto, power by numbers. And just like Keener, they thrive in chaos. Before you arrive at the base of operations with Agent Alani Kelso, I should warn you, a lot has changed in New York. The days when division agents were seen as knights in shining armor are long gone. The people around here are survivors. Ever since Keener and his rogue agents took over Lower Manhattan, there's been a distrust of division agents among civilians. Agent Fei Lau has been the acting commander of the division in New York City and is leading the hunt for Keener. Her methods are unconventional. But we're in a race against the clock, and Lau knows what it takes to get results quickly. You'll also find Paul Rhodes, now the leader of the civilian settlement. Because he's so tapped into the city, he may be able to help you track Keener and his rogue agents. Our mission is simple find and eliminate Keener. But to expose our target, we'll need to take down his chain of rogue agents before they destroy us. Agents, the hunt for Keener is on. Our situation's a fuck ton better than it ever was back in Midtown. These people feel safe. You're right. The situation feels better for you now. But feeling safe doesn't mean you are safe. There's no escape. It's getting pretty rough out there, Paul. been through enough already. Now the end we always feared is coming. Do what you need. New York is putting together a strike team to take down Keener. It feels like he's planning something bigger. Don't underestimate them. Call the others. It's time to talk strategy. Agent out of action. 